welcome to From Soup to Tomatoes. This is the basic workout, so the hardest of the three. My name is Renee. I am a registered nurse, personal trainer, and yoga and Pilates instructor, as well as other things. So welcome. We begin in good posture. And today our focus is drinking water, setting the pelvis and shoulder, just as a reminder. So let's begin with our feet pointing forward. We're going to get those shoulders back, the chest out, and just begin to march. Taking a few deep, deep breaths. Good job, good job. I was a nurse for 15 years in different areas. One of them was respiratory therapy. And what we found a lot of times is when people breathe, they breathe with the top third of their lungs. So when you think about taking a deep breath, you want to think about taking it all the way to the bottom lobes where oxygen actually gets exchanged, right? So if you're only breathing here, those, that oxygen that's at the bottom or the carbon uh, dioxide that's at the bottom is not getting out, is not exchanging. So you need big deep breaths. So to encourage that, let's add our shoulder stretch. So we're gonna inhale, reach up. Big deep breath, exhale, squeeze the shoulder blades down and back, press the palms back. Big deep breath. So this is an exercise taken right from the arthritis society. It's recommended every day. Thinking about the shoulder blades in this one. Opening the chest, squeezing the shoulder blades down and back. Again, big deep breath. Feels good already, right? Woo! Fantastic. So this is a new week. Video one or three for this week, or our fourth video. So welcome. One more, one more. Fantastic. And then elbows together. Shoulders back, chest out, big deep breaths. Squeeze the shoulder blades back. That's right. Again. So it's actually recommended that we march especially when we're just getting started, two to five minutes a day, around the house, from room to room. Right now it's been about three minutes. One more, one more deep breath. And also, the sequences of exercises are getting a little harder today. So toes, lifting, but basically all the exercises are the same. There's only so many moves we could do, right? And where I get to be creative is in the sequencing of them. So I can add one here or take one away here, create different combos. Let's tap our toes like we mean it. We're listening to our favorite song and we're toe tapping. Okay, then we'll reach out to the side, shoulders back, chest out, reach up. Big deep breaths. Reach forward. Fantastic. All of these exercises are recommended by the home exercise program. Up and forward. Now I'm doing them for a certain amount of time. So today we're doing toe taps for one minute. Working towards two minutes. But we can do up to five. So think about that when we're done the minute. Imagine what five minutes would feel like. Woo! Right? Fantastic. 20 seconds. Lift those toes and reach. Woo! Up. And forward. We got 15 seconds left. Reach. Shoulders back. Chest out. Up. And forward. I think we got time for one more. Out. Up and forward. Fantastic. Now we got to do the opposite move. So going on our toes, nice and tall, seated or standing. We're going to look over one shoulder, come back to center, and then go down. So you really, you could, you could hang on to your chair, but with very little, if you can help it. And down. And again, up over and down or another option is seated right up over and then down 
up, over, and then down. Fantastic. Halfway now. Big deep breaths, nice and tall, not only practicing fantastic posture, but also a calf press and a neck stretch. Huh? Woo. See what I mean? That's where we get to be creative with our exercises. Just adding this little neck thing, this little balance move to a calf press. It's fantastic. Good. Done. That's it. Good job. Good job. All right. Knee raise. Diagonal for 30. Same for 30. So here. Stretch. Here. Big deep breath. Reaching. Or if balance is an issue, you can either stand behind the chair and touch it with the free hand. Just the touch of the chair will often help to balance. Or do it seated. Focus on the stretching, on the knee raise, on inhaling, on exhaling, on enjoying the exercise, whichever way you do it. Same side, so same arm and knee. Same arm and knee. Same works different muscles than diagonal. Same arm and knee. Big deep breaths. Fantastic. 10 seconds left. Are we going to reach and crunch? We're going to breathe a little deeper. Enjoy our knee raise a little more. Done. 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 All right. So squeezing our bum, seated or standing, hips to the front, rib cage over. We can cross our arms, shoulders back, chest out. That's the smallest position. Now, if you want to make it harder, you get longer levers. <sighs> Inhale, exhale, or out, longest levers. But you can choose <sighs> any of the positions. It's whatever suits you today. <sighs> Another option is seated, exactly the same. <sighs> In fact, seated is pretty fantastic because your hips are forced to stay forward, right? Can't swivel them because you're seated. One more on each side. Fantastic. So I always like to work on all three elements of fitness, primary elements of fitness. So strength, endurance, flexibility. So thinking about our endurance level, we are going to do the leg raise. So because we're just beginning here, we're going to switch legs in between sets. We start with a flexed foot, knee can be soft, we're going to lift and lower the leg. Now if you don't have to hold on, then don't, that's two or three, right? Four, one more, five. Fantastic. Now we add the arm. Notice anything happen? Maybe it got a little bit easier. Huh? Two more, two more. Big deep breath. Reach, reach, reach. All right, let's switch legs. Switching legs between sets is another way that we help make it easier. If we kept going with the same leg, it would be much harder. So flex foot nice and tall, always thinking about posture, lifting the heel and lowering. That's right. Or not holding on. Three more. Two more. Lift and lower. Soft on the leg you're standing on. One more. And then add in the arm. Big deep breath. Same arm. Big deep breath. Reach and crunch. Reach and crunch. Two more. Two more. One more. Good job. Going back to the original side, now going out to the side. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to lift with the leg first. Toe is pointing forward. It's a lot easier to lift with the toes up because the quad does the work. But if you try to lift 
with the heel up, toes facing forward. It's a lot more work for the whole leg and a lot better for us. So shoulders back, chest out, lift and lower. Now if we're doing this seated, it's fantastic, it's fantastic. Out to the side and back. That's it, two more. One more. Now we add the arm on the same side. So open and close. Looks different if you're standing because you're reaching up just because of the directionality of it. Two more, two more. One more. Now which leg is working harder? The one you're lifting or the one you're standing on? I bet you the answer is the one standing. Here you go, unless you're seated. If you're seated, of course, the leg that's doing the work is getting more action. Two, like that. Or out to the side. Three, or not holding. Four. I should push myself over. There you go. Five. Fantastic. Six. Oh, oh we better add the arm. Seven. Eight. Or, or. Nine. Ten. Woo! Good job. Good job. The crunch. Shoulders back, chest out, crunch in. Big deep breath. Crunch in. Or, this is four already. Pull the abdominals in. Big deep breath. Open the chest, pull the abdominals in. Five more, five more. Four more, four more. Three, three, two, and one. Fantastic. So take a little drink, grab two dumbbells, or, or two cans of soup, or two bottles of water, or nothing at all. It's really your choice. You can get a good workout. Um, and it, no matter what you use, as long as you think about your muscles. So let's begin with the sit to stand or squat. If you have knee issues, it's recommended that the knees are pressed together. That way they support each other if one is weak or the other one or whatever. So this is a safer uh, position. The regular position is this way. So this would be the modification, okay? Or you just sit. Either way, here, squeezing the inner thighs, squeeze the bum, pull the abs in. We're gonna curl, so biceps, and press for shoulder. Come back in, back down, and then down. Now I'm gonna do it in a regular seated position. So here, you can stay seated, pull your abs in, squeeze your bum, Set the shoulder, which means shoulders down and back. Yeah, good. See, that's two already. Up, squeeze, curl, press. Three, slowly down. Pull the abs in still, squeeze the butt. Woo! Shoulders back, chest out, pressing into both feet, pulling those abs in, curling and pressing. Woo! Feel it, especially going down. There, here, and here. Good, again, squeeze, shoulders back, chest out, squeeze the bum, squeeze the abs in, shoulders are back, press up, come back. Okay, let's do five more, except this time we're really gonna enjoy it and feel it. Pressing into both feet, squeeze the bump, shoulders back, chest up, curl, press. Woo! Now remember this, the next time you have to go to the washroom, what should your squat look like? When you're holding something heavy and you gotta bring it up and put it somewhere higher than your head. That's what it should look like. 
All right, real life practice here. Shoulders back, chest out, down. Squeeze your bum and press into both feet to come up. Keep your bum squeezed, abs in to protect your spine. Lift that heavy object, put it up there. Bring it back down slowly, like you're taking some out of the cupboard. And then down. Okay, now we really, really got to enjoy these last two. Down, squeeze it up. You know what to squeeze now. Curl, press, enjoy it, control it down. You've got a big bag of potatoes here. You got to take it out of somewhere high for some reason, which is kind of silly, but uh, control it down. Yes, or a big dish or something, you know, somebody's trying to get you to take a big serving plate out, let's say, and it's up high in a cupboard. You've got it. You're squeezing your bum. You're protecting your back. And you're bringing it down carefully. Woo! And then down. Good. So last time we started to practice the deadlift. Now the deadlift, it comes with uh, some issues, okay? But it's one of the best positions, like a plank, in order to get rows and things. So if we're feeling it here, it's likely that we have to bend our knees more, okay? So we're going to do 10 with another exercise in between to give our lower backs a break. But it's a very important primary position. So shoulders back, chest out, knees bent. You kick your bum back. See how close I keep the dumbbells to my legs? That is because it takes the shoulder out of this exercise. When I get to the bottom here, my abs are in and I feel my hamstrings. And I tuck my chin in. And then I come up to squeeze my glutes. Shoulders back, chest out. Then we go into a row so we get a break. So you lift the elbows, squeeze the upper back, release down, and you're back in position for another deadlift. So shoulders back, chest out, bum back. Neutral spine down, so you lead with the chest. Come back up, squeeze the bum, lift, upright row. Fantastic. If we're seated, it's going to work the spinal erectors more. So you may want to drop the weight. Shoulders are back, chest is out. You're going to go down to a comfortable position. This may be it. You're going to come back up, put the weights on your legs, drag them up, and squeeze your upper back. Same thing, bring the weights back to their original position, come back for your deadlift, come back up, bring them back, squeeze your bum, pull your abs in, drag it up, and squeeze. All right, now five more. Shoulders back, chest out, deadlift. So remember, hamstrings here. Inhale up, lift the elbows, squeeze the upper back. Fantastic. Four more. Shoulders back, chest out, toes pointing forward. Woo! Squeeze the bum up, pull the abs in, lift, and squeeze your upper back. Very good. Three more. Inhale up, squeeze. Upright row, squeeze the upper back, chest out. It's too important. We really, really have to enjoy it. Soften the knees, stick your bum back. Big deep breath. Woo! Squeeze. Pull the abs in. Lift and squeeze. One more. One more. Big deep breaths. Hamstrings. Glutes. Lift. Upper back. Fantastic. Good job. Good job. All right. So the next one, it's taking that same move to a different level because uh, we have to get rows in. A row is when we pull our elbows back and squeeze them against our rib cage. Now, for that not to be in the shoulder, we have to be in a bent over position. So we bend our knees, shoulders back, chest down. We're only doing five today. Find and make sure that you're feeling this in the back of your legs and not the lower back, or come up a little. Take your palms to face each other. Roll the elbows up and squeeze them against your rib cage. Bring them down. Soften the knees. Lift, squeeze, and down. Three more. Lift, squeeze against your rib cage and down. Pull the abs in. Keep the knees soft. Roll up. Squeeze. 
and down. One more. Row, squeeze, and down. Bring it back to your legs. Come up with that neutral spine. Take the palms behind you, shoulders back, chest out, chin in. We're going to lift the palms back, squeeze the shoulder blades together, and then release them down. Lift the palms back, squeeze the shoulder blades together, and down. Palms back, squeeze, and down. Really, really good. Again, squeeze and down, halfway. Lift, squeeze, and down. Fantastic. Lift it, squeeze, and down. Three more. Lift, squeeze, and down. Two more. Lift, squeeze, down. One more like you love it. Lift, squeeze, and down. So that's one way to work the triceps. And we're going to explore a different way today because it's a little more advanced. So feet pointing forward, knees bent, tailbone tucked in or squeezing the glutes, abs in. We take a deep breath. We exhale forward. Inhale open. Exhale forward. Inhale open. Exhale forward. Now notice where your wrists are in comparison to your elbows. Are we still squeezing our bums? Are we still soft in our knees? Abs pulled in. Four more. Big deep breath. Squeeze the shoulder blades back. Bring them together. Elbows. Good. Two more. Two more. One more. This move is actually known as a chest fly. Although, when we're standing and doing it, what happens is it gets into the shoulder more than the chest. So generally, I like to have uh, push-ups, but today I want to cover something different. So let's say you were pulling a band, that would get your chest more than holding the dumbbell which is actually pushing your arm down this way, and that's why you're getting a lot more shoulder out of it. We're gonna take it down to one dumbbell. Should be easy then, yes? No. All right, here, two options. So feet are wide, so it's like a wide squat. So you want the thighs and the toes to match, the knees over the ankles. If you find your knees coming in at all, Try to press them out so you're pressing on the whole foot and you're keeping the thighs open. You can come up to here, pull the abs in, squeeze the glutes, and then down, or all the way up, and then down. One, all the way up, squeeze the glutes, and then down. Two, all the way up, squeeze the glutes, bring the dumbbell to eye level. Three. Woo! Four. This is called a swing. Five. Want to make your work harder? Or want to make yourself work harder? Go slower on the way down. Six, like right here. Right? Four more. Seven. Eight. Nine, one more. So we we'll use 10 in the basic class. 10, good job, good job. I'm gonna save this that next one for after, but we'll start with the raise. So we're gonna do front raise, which is a front shoulder, going into an extension. You cannot go into the extension if you're gonna smack yourself in the head with the dumbbell. So what you wanna do is you wanna check where you're kinda of going with the shoulder today. So shoulders back, chest out, you raise it. Now, if you're getting here, you may not be ready for the tricep extension quite yet. So you're just gonna bring it back down. So just do the little test. If you could get right over here to where your head is, then you can add the extension. But until you get to your head, do not add the extension. You already worked your triceps on the pump, so it's no big deal. So remember, once again, Shoulders are back, chest is out, bum is squeezed, abs are in, you lift, 
oh, I can only go this far, that's quite all right, and you bring it back down. Or, or, you go, oh, 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 look, oh, look how far I am, and then you add the extension, okay? Otherwise, you're going to be, going to be feeling that extension in the wrong places, so we want to focus, all right? So, again, lift, 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 if you're at your head, fantastic, or around your ears with the arms, great. Extension for the triceps, shoulders once again. Good. Squeezing the bum, pulling the abs at the same time, yes? Or seated. Seated is the same. Yeah, it's great. You're seated. Like I said, not everybody can do this one. Well, they can do the raise, just not the, the extension. And that's okay, that's why I have the backup exercise for the triceps. Because we're going to get a whole body exercise here at Soup to Tomatoes, right? Woo! That's right. Two more. Two more. Noticing, feeling, choosing the move that's right for you. Good. And then one more. Good job. Good job. One more. One more. Woo! Lift it. Extension. Fantastic. And down. All right. Uh, the next one, we're going to do five with no dumbbell. And then we'll add the dumbbell, and then you can see for next time. So we can either do it behind the chair, or I'll show it seated. But it's the idea is it's opposite arm and leg go out. So I call it lateral arm and leg raise. But it's a diagonal one. Two. Or three. Hmm? Two more. Four. One more. Five. Now, if that was hard enough, then don't add the weight. We'll do five more. If, if you feel like, hey, Renee, that's pretty easy. I think I can do a little more. Fantastic. All right, here we go then. Shoulders back, chest out, opposite arm and leg raises. Much much harder. Two. Now if you're seated, it's going to look the same. Three. Yeah, not easier either. Four. One more. Like you love it. You love it. Five. Fantastic. Now we switch to the other side. Now remember, when you're doing it without the weight, it's just out and in. Right? So if I was holding on to my chair, let me get rid of tripping hazards. Two, or here. Three, nice and slow though, nice and slow. Let's not rush it. Four, one more, five. Now if that's hard enough, fantastic. If uh, you wanna keep going with the next five, no dumbbell, you do that. If you wanna add a little bit of difficulty, opposite arm and leg, Raising up, or you can hold on to your chair. Two, three, good. Four, one more, one more. Shoulders back, chest out. Five. Woo! Fantastic. So let's uh, put that weight down. Put them all the way. Actually, for now, take a nice uh, drink of water. And we'll do our crunches. So big deep breath, exhale together. Inhale open, exhale together. Inhale open, more here. Exhale together. Inhale open, exhale together. Abs in. Five more. Four more. Three, big deep breaths, chest open. Two, like you love it. And then one more, one more. Fantastic. Last time we did the side, uh, the twist, this time the side bend. So exhale over, inhale up, exhale over, inhale up, or add the arm. 
This one feels nice, yes? Elbow towards the ceiling, realigning as we inhale, exhale over. That's it. Big deep breaths. Exhale over. Inhale. Exhale over. Fantastic. We're going to enjoy this for 20 more seconds. Inhale. And exhale. 10 seconds left. Big deep breaths. See if you can reach a little further out or press into the leg you're bending away from. Inhale up. Exhale over. Last one. All right. Remember earlier how I was talking to you about if you do the same leg twice, oh my God, so much more. So let's practice that. Okay, we'll see. We'll see. So uh, we'll flex the foot. We'll stand on the other one, knee soft, and we'll raise it. And we'll lower it like nine more times. So we better enjoy it. Lift and lower. Two. We're not even going to add the arm this time. Three. We're just going to enjoy the leg. Four. Let's see if we can enjoy it more. Five. Soft on the leg we're standing on. You could do it seated. Six. Woo! Seven. Three more. Eight. Very good. Nine. Okay, one more. One more. Ten. Shake the legs out a little bit. Yeah? Out to the side for 10, then we're done with this leg. Out to the side, and back stay as tall as you can, or don't hang on. Two, soft on the leg you're standing on. Three, four. Oh, now we're feeling our legs, yes? Five, savor that, savor that. Five more, we can do it together. Four more now, four more. Three more. One more, one more. Good job. Let's shake those legs out. Take it to the other side. So now you know what I mean, right? If you do two exercises in a row for the same body part, it makes it a lot harder on the body part you're working. You're feeling it a whole lot more without adding any resistance but your own. Flex the foot, shoulders back, chest down. Lift the heel, lower it. Want to make it harder? Take the hand away. Want to make it easier? Have a seat. All of these are good. Actually, seated only makes it easy in the fact that you get to rest your bum a little bit. But otherwise, you're still working hard. Four. One more. Five. And we're halfway, so five more. Savor them. Four more. Enjoying three more. Nice and tall. Two more, two more. One more. Shake them out a little bit. Out to the side, only 10, okay? Only 10. And we really get to enjoy it. So here we go, shoulders back, chest out, lift. And lower. Remember, you wanna to try to keep that toe pointing forward, knee pointing forward. Two, good. Move over a little bit. Three, okay. Or four. Five, good job. Six, nice and slow or hold it at the top. If you don't quite feel it enough, six, seven, eight, two more, two more, nine, one more, one more, ten. Shake those legs out. Very good, very good. So we're going to do a squat and grab our weights. So Nice wide squat if you can help it. Bring your bum down. Come up. Grab your dumbbells. Have a seat for the sit to stand. We got about five minutes of workout left and five minutes of stretching. So we're going to start one of the most important moves, okay? Feet together if you got knee. Need some knee support. Or feet hip width apart. We're going to come up. Squeeze our bum. Pull our abs in. Curl. And press. Good. 
down and down. Now at any time during this workout, you could take a break. You could have a drink, right? They actually recommend that you drink about two liters a day, unless you have a fluid restriction for some reason. And you would recognize that term if you had a fluid restriction. Shoulders back, chest out, up, squeeze your bum, pull your abs in, curl it like you mean it and press up slowly. Pull the abs in to protect your lower back and spine. And then down, Woo! again. Up, squeeze, curl, press. Down slowly, slowly, slowly and then slowly here. Fantastic. You can stay seated and just squeeze your bum, pull your abs and do the curl and the shoulder press. Or do all of them. Four more, four more. Down, squeeze up, shoulders back, chest out, curl and press. Slowly, slowly, we get to feel it on this round. It's fantastic. Woo! Where are your thoughts now? Are they in your body? Perfect. Are they in your posture, your breath, your strength? I love it. Good. That's a good place. Good. Two more. Two more. Shoulders back, chest out, squeeze the bum, curl, press. Woo! Celebrate it, celebrate it. Most people over 60 cannot put 10 pounds over their heads. They can't. There's like 70% of people over 60 or something like that. It's like a really high statistic. So just think, we're not going to be statistics, are we? No. Okay. All right, so we only did five rows on purpose because so I was giving, you know, some, some leeway for your back to rest in between because we use spinary erectors anyway we do the bent over stuff. So bend the knees, shoulders back, chest out, lead down with the chest, five narrow rows. Palms facing each other, roll the dumbbells up, squeeze them against your rib cage, release them down. Four more or seated. Three more, three more. Row, squeeze, and release. Two more, abs in, soft knees, row, squeeze, release. One more. Row, squeeze those back muscles, release, and drop the weights. Good job, good job. Take a little drink. That was really, really good. I just want to make sure we get that second set in. So uh, before we get into too much of the stretching, we'll just do a really basic stretch. Uh, lateral flexion, which is reaching up so that this side gets stretched and then over for the side bend. So there are two moves. They're not one moved all mushed together. Sometimes they make it a little bit more together, but this is the reach and then over. And then you can go back to the reach and then down. Let's do that again. Inhale, reach up, up, up. Exhale, over. Inhale, reach up and then exhale down. Again, inhale, reach up. Exhale, over. Inhale, reach up. Exhale down. And then one more time. Inhale, reach. Exhale, over. Inhale, reach. Exhale down. Very good, right? Chest expansion. So we're going to open our chest back here. Squeeze our bumps or press back. If not, everybody can get their hands together at first. So it's actually a more active position to just press back as though there's a volleyball or beach ball behind you and you want to squeeze into it. Tuck the chin in, take another deep breath to not just passively have your hands like that, but to actually reach back, 
reach, reach, reach for the whole time. Then you'll feel your neck get a stretch, your chest get a stretch. It's fantastic. One more deep breath here. Good. And then bring your head up, hold the stretch, exhale, ear to one side. And then inhale up, exhale, ear to the other side. Good. And then back up. And then we'll do quad stretch. So a standing quad stretch is you would curl your heel towards your bum and then grab your ankle, press your hip forward, press the leg into your hand to open the chest and bring the knees closer together. And then if you want, you can reach up with the leg you're standing on has a bent knee. So if you're not able to do that, you can always grab the pant leg too if you wanted. It's, the idea is always we want to press the hip forward. So you can walk the leg back sitting in this position and press the hip forward from here and you would get that stretch. Good. Two more deep breaths. Or even here. Good. And then we'll do the other side. So remember standing. Here. And then reach up if you like. And you want to hold each of these stretches anywhere for three to six breaths. Six breaths is only about 30 seconds. So let's say uh, we've already been through 15, so we're going to hold this one another 10. Pressing the heel back, hip forward. Good. One more deeper breath. Very good. Now we come back to center. And the most, most important stretch we do all day, all day, is this one. A hamstring. So we're going to flex the foot and soften the knee. Take a deep breath and press the chest forward. Tuck the chin in. Deep breath. Press the chest forward. And then release the hands and head down. Soften the knee if you have to, but keep the foot flexed. Take a deeper breath and walk the hands a little further out. And then again. Good. And then gently walk it up. Very good, very good. And then the other side. So flex foot, soft knee, means a little bit bent. Shoulders back, chest out, pressing the chest forward. Tucking the chin in, pressing the chest forward a little bit more on the next breath. And then releasing the hands down on the breath after that. Big deep breath, relax the head. Walk the hands out as far as they will go. Take another deep breath. Walk the hands out as far as they will go. And then another deep breath. Very good. And then gently walk it up. So that one's the hamstring stretch. You should feel that in the back of the leg. All right, shoulder stretch. I always usually begin with a horizontal shoulder stretch, which means you stretch one arm over, bring it across, Pull it into the chest, try to keep the arm you're stretching straight, and then pull the shoulder blade down. So it's important to notice the distinction between each of the stretches as we progress, because this one progresses into eagle's pose, it changes it once you change the, the joints. So let's do the other side, reaching, opening the chest, and then across, and in, and then shoulder blade down. Not here, but here. Always. It's one of the biggest issues, like I work where the, there's a lot of farms where I am, and people will carry things like this, you know? So they'll have their big things of grain, and like carrying their grain like that. But what happens when you do that is the nerve gets uh, squished at the top of your shoulder. So we have to get used to carrying things in what's called a set position. So think about it the next time you're carrying something, to not let yourself get all crouchy, but to think about getting tall and squeezing the shoulder blades back. And you'll see you'll be able to carry it a lot longer. So I hope you had a wonderful workout. Good job. 
Think about your everyday posture and where your body is when you're lifting heavy things. Have a wonderful day. And this is the first of three workouts this week, right? So have a great day.